Hi, there's Life Prepper here, and I want to tell you something. I am mad. I fired up. It just bothers me. Handicap preppers, I want your voices to be heard. I want you to get out there. I want you to write articles. I want you to post things. I want you to tell. I want you to share your story on this video here. At the bottom of I'm going to put my email address. And if you want to send me a letter or a video or whatever how you feel, do it. I mean, if I get positive results, I get positive. If I get some of you with negative results, I want to post what you think about people, about the handicapped preppers. The fact is, I see so many pretenders. Uh, one I've checked out, he had a camp, right? He was in front of the camp. He was dehydrating meat. Guess what? He was in his backyard, and you could hear the traffic going up and down the road. Full steam, zoom, zoom, zoom. That wasn't a camp. It was in his backyard. Another guy was showing you how to smoke the hide of a rabbit. Guess what? There was a gas station right behind it, and he was doing. He had a storage building there, right next to it. it looked like one of those iPods or something other. He was using a grill and a five-gallon bucket. He placed it on there. It's in town. He's showing you how he smokes rabbit hides. You know good and well he didn't hunt it because they was all nice and white. I doubt he even raised them. I say he bought the herd just for the purpose of doing the video. And guess what? He scorched half of them. He put five of them in there or six of them in there and only had like three or four. It came out good because he scorched them. And there's the gas station right behind it. The highway going full steam yeah that's just what I need to see the fact is not all preppers look like Mr. Universe not all preppers look like these models not all preppers look like these so called TV shows that they're showing them these beautiful people if you want to call some of them they all just look really good. Their hair is nice and layered for some reason or another. I, uh, they've been out in the wilderness for years, but yet for some reason or another, their clothes are still looking halfway decent on a lot of them. I mean, it's just ironic. I'm just tired of looking at some of this stuff, and it's so phony. One guy was showing you how to do um, get a starch out of cattails right so you can have your starch the thing is what got me on that was this guy was dressed up in a camouflage outfit he was sitting in his chair and like my mammy was said his hands were smoother than the bottom of a baby's butt bottom line this guy had no muscle tone no nothing dressed in a camouflage outfit with a hat and a t-shirt no muscle tone and he's sitting there showing you how to get starch out of cattails and that's something starch for you to cook with starch for you to make with or whatever but he was showing you how to do that out of cattails and he's sitting there the whole time and you know he's doing out of his backyard bottom line handicapped preppers you have a voice you have a right to a opinion you have a right to get out here and show people if you're in a wheelchair, show them how you survive in a wheelchair. Show them what it made you to be who you are. That you are a survivor. That you can use your brains. You can use your time. Believe it or not, a diabetic is considered handicap prepper in my book. Because you deal with that diabetes every day. You've got to figure out how you're going to survive in a situation. You cannot always count on insulin. There is no such thing as everybody being perfect in situations. If you're blind in one eye, you handicap. You got a limit. Talk about that limit, how you learn how to work around that limit with that one eye. Maybe you are blind. Talk about how you work it around. Maybe you uh, lost the use of one of your arms, your amputee. You lost the use of one of your legs. You got a fake leg on it. Whatever the reason is, use your voice and let people know that not everybody is perfect 
share your knowledge, teach people how to do things from your point of view with limits. Teach them, share it, talk about it, write about it. Don't let these so-called people who puts handicapped preppers down and talks about them and talks about you being too old to do this or you're too uh, limited to do this or you can't do that or blah, blah, blah or whatever and you ain't going to be no good if you uh, pass a certain age because ain't nobody going to want you. They're going to put you down. They're going to do away. You better be able to be at breeding stage. Yes, I've seen them talk about that. Appropriation. Appropriate. Sorry. However, my tongue's going out. But the point is, just because you got snow on your roof don't mean you can't pass knowledge on. Just because you are handicapped with limits and you have overcome that self-pity stuff, and we all go through it when we start to get sick, we reach our limits, we get depressed, we feel like, but you overcame it. I want you to voice your opinion. Talk about it down here. Talk about how you feel about the fact is that people that you feel... Maybe you feel intimidated by all these people in these videos. Maybe you feel like, you know what, you don't have a right to talk about it because they're going to put you down. You know what? Screw them. Voice your opinion. Handicapped people do have a voice. We can learn from handicapped people. We can teach other people. We can keep going. So I want handicapped people to have a voice. There's a lot of prepper here being say, saying be happy, be safe. Bless you all.